The Department of Home Affairs in South Africa has initiated an aggressive clampdown on corruption within its ranks. Between July and September 2024, the department has finalized 31 disciplinary cases involving officials accused of unethical practices. These cases, according to a Home Affairs statement issued on 15 October 2024, have led to varying sanctions such as criminal prosecution, dismissal, suspensions without pay, and final written warnings. The Home Affairs indicated that more arrests are expected as part of their ongoing investigations. For years, corruption within the Home Affairs has significantly impacted its efficiency and reputation. A pivotal report, the Lubisi Report of 2022, laid bare widespread issues of theft, fraud, and collusion between officials and criminal syndicates. These crimes resulted in the unlawful issuance of around 45,000 fraudulent visas and permits between 2014 and 2021. The report recommended the establishment of a multidisciplinary task team to address these malpractices. The multidisciplinary task team, created during the tenure of former Home Affairs Minister Aaron Motsoalidi, comprises forensic investigators, data analysts, and legal professionals tasked with reviewing suspect permits and visas, prosecuting offenders, and conducting internal disciplinary hearings. The Home Affairs emphasized its renewed focus on ethical governance and the importance of accelerating disciplinary actions against officials engaged in wrongdoing. Among the disciplinary cases processed between July and September 2024, various transgressions were uncovered. These ranged from irregular recruitment practices to violations of the Citizenship Act and Immigration Act. Notably, eight cases originated from the Free State, while six were from KZN. Minister Leon Schreiber, who now heads the department, affirmed the government's zero-tolerance stance on corruption. He stated that while they are committed to supporting those officials who maintain ethical standards and deliver dignified public service, those engaged in corruption will face swift consequences, including dismissal and criminal prosecution. Schreiber underscored this commitment by highlighting two specific cases that demonstrate the government's resolve to eradicate corruption. One case involves a former Home Affairs official facing trial for fraud, scheduled for 6 November 2024. This individual was dismissed from the department in late 2023 after being implicated in numerous fraudulent transactions. These activities allegedly benefited Pakistani nationals, with the official accused of manipulating immigration systems to enable their entry into the country. Another case involves a suspended border management authority official, arrested at Beatbridge while attempting to smuggle six foreign nationals into South Africa. Her bail hearing commenced on 14 October 2024 in Musina. As part of the broader anti-corruption effort, the Home Affairs is working closely with other entities, including the Special Investigating Unit, SIU, and the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigations, Hawks. These organizations are instrumental in enforcing Proclamation 154 of 2024, which grants the SIU authority to investigate serious instances of maladministration and improper conduct within the department, particularly concerning the issuance of fraudulent permits. The department's focus is not only on punishing past transgressions, but also on preventing future ones. Minister Schreiber stressed that digital transformation is essential to closing loopholes that have allowed corruption to flourish in the department. By transitioning from manual, paper-based systems to digital platforms, the Home Affairs aims to minimize opportunities for corruption and streamline service delivery. Schreiber added that this transformation is vital to ensuring the department's integrity and providing better services to the public. The Lubisi report also recommended legislative changes to overhaul South Africa's immigration system. This advice was incorporated into the White Paper on Immigration, and its implementation is now in progress. 
Schreiber has been proactive in pushing forward reforms aimed at making the country's immigration system more efficient and transparent. For example, on 9 October 2024, he gazetted reforms introducing a remote work visitor visa and a points-based system for work visas. These reforms aim to remove bureaucratic obstacles that have hindered the visa process in South Africa for years. Schreiber described these changes as fit-for-purpose and market-friendly, explaining that they would position South Africa as a top destination for investment and tourism. These reforms, he asserted, would play a crucial role in creating thousands of new jobs and revitalizing the country's economy. The recently introduced points-based system, first proposed by former Minister Mozzolidi in May 2024, has undergone significant amendments since its initial proposal. The latest version offers a more transparent framework for adjudicating visa applications, a step aimed at curbing opportunities for corruption within the department. According to Schreiber, the Home Affairs is resolute in its fight against corruption, which he believes is critical to transforming the department into a respected and ethical institution. He emphasized that winning this battle is essential for the home affairs to uphold the dignity of all its clients and deliver efficient services that benefit the entire nation. In conclusion, the Department of Home Affairs has launched a far-reaching campaign to root out corruption, with significant progress made between July and September 2024. With ongoing disciplinary actions, criminal prosecutions, and comprehensive reforms aimed at modernizing the immigration system, the Home Affairs is working towards restoring its credibility and effectiveness. Minister Schreiber's leadership marks a decisive moment in this long-standing battle against unethical practices, as the department strives to become an institution characterized by integrity and professionalism. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates.